Take him! All right. Now we need to find some horses. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find some horses here. Whole town wants to string us up. Do you have to provoke him like that? I'm not the one who diddled his daughter. There's no way out of this. So they're coming for us. Let him come. Want some ammo? It's a dead end. Let's go through the buildings. Ray, cover me. Now your turn, big man. Open it. Don't you move, bitch. What the hell is wrong with you, brother? His bark is worse than his bite. You just relax now, darling. We'll be out of your hair in no time. Stagecoach. It's better than nothing. Can you get it over here? Look, we should just turn ourselves in. He drew on you first. It was self-defense. You think they gonna believe us? We turn ourselves in, and they gonna stretch our necks. Keep an eye out. When I get back, you jump on. Cover. 
Watch and learn, brother. Oh, knock them on their asses! Starting to pay off. They're killing us here. Cover me. I'll try to move that wagon. We'll do it goddamn quick. Shoot them sons of bitches. Come on. Go! Yeah! They're gonna be waiting for us. We're blocking our way! Turn! Turn here! Go! Go! Don't slow down! Cut us off! Whoa! Oh, too late! They got us! Not yet! Yeehaw! What the hell are you doing? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Look out! Hey! The devil's disciples! Just put this on our tail! Go! Go! Yeehaw! Oh, one day, you're gonna get us killed! <laughs> Shoot! Chase us, you know. It won't do them any good. We gotta do it together. Whoa! William, take the reins. I never handled this many horses. Horses are a lot like women. You just need to tell them what to do. Crack the whip and say go. Move it before they get us. Get inside. They're gonna be waiting for us. They're here!
they gave up. What the hell? Dynamite! William, hurry up! Look out! Son of a bitch! Take the horses, but leave that damn coffin. They won't catch us. Lord in heaven, what have you done? Well, it's not like we had a choice. You just killed a U.S. federal marshal. Don't you know they're gonna hunt you down to the ends of the earth? And I say we go to Mexico. Sunshine and senoritas. Nothing wrong with that. Besides, I've heard tales of an Aztec treasure buried in the hills just outside of Juarez. Well, what about our plan? Rebuilding our family farm. Reclaiming our land. That's why I want the treasure, brother. Without gold, that plan is just a fantasy. We're never gonna settle down, are we? You're like mad dogs, tearing at each other's throats. By the way, brother, if you ever steal another woman away from me, I swear to God I will take your life. Do you understand me? Dear Lord, how do I free my brothers from Satan's embrace? What words do I use to convince them that the Lord loves and forgives them? Now we're on the run to Mexico. Ray is dragging us there to find a mythical treasure, for he believes we can use it to rebuild our family farm. I must continue to preach the truth and turn my brothers towards the light. Because when all is said and done, we are family. Running River said, War! Running River gathers a tribal council, but won't listen to our council. I don't need advice from old women who have forgotten how to fight. You say the treasure is cursed. I say it belonged to the ancient ones, our ancestors. And it is the source of power. It is the people of this land who were given the key to the secret place. So Running River will wage a war on the white man. He will use the sacred medallion to buy many rifles. Puma's paw asks, who will sell us these rifles? The whites? Perhaps we can ask them to shoot themselves as well. Puma's paw has no teeth anymore and meows like a kitten. In the south, where the treasure is hidden, live a people who hate the white coyotes as much as we do. They will sell us the weapons. It is beyond the mountains and across the great river. Who will venture on this journey? My son, Shajam, seen father, he speaks the language of the whites, as did his mother. 
My son, it is time for you to prove that you are one of us. By causing a war, which will bring annihilation upon our people? Seeing farther deserves his name. And maybe he deserves to be called coward. Imbaya Bishan. No one, not even the great Apache chief running river, will call me a coward. Then prove your worth. Prove you're an Apache. Baand. All right, father. I will journey south and find someone to sell us these rifles. You will have your war. Running River does not respect the Creator or those who remember his childhood. He wants to take the medallion from its place of safety and bring the Life Giver's wrath down on his people. It won't be Running River who makes the sacrifice, but his tribe and his son, Puma Pa, has spoken. Running River has spoken. Prepare for war. Mexico. What a godforsaken land. Ray heard tales of a great Aztec treasure hidden in the foothills near the border town of Juarez. It was said to be cursed and that all who seek it will find only madness. The locals call this greedy fever the Call of Juarez. Ray laughed off the curse and convinced Thomas that we could use this treasure to rebuild our life and our home back in Georgia. We were talking about this very subject in a little cantina near San Lorenzo when my brothers first laid eyes on her. She looked like an angel. Looks can be deceiving. Promise of that treasure is attracted to shitload of lowlifes looking for easy money. Are you talking about us, little brother? Jesus. That treasure is nothing but a fairy tale. There's only one decent way for God fearing people to make their fortune with hard work and sacrifice. Or we can find some rich son of a bitch and put a gun to his head. You're drunk. I'm getting there. Tomorrow we'll buy some equipment and start our search. We got a lot of ground to cover. Right now, though, I just need a little more tequila and a woman of questionable moral character. What's your hurry, little lady? Baboso. Mr. Devlin, I'd like to see you. What if I don't want to see him? He wants to see you today, senorita, in his bed, wearing nothing but a smile. Pendejo! But he never buys a bear unless it's already broke in. So maybe I should take you for a ride and knock some of the fight out of you. You little whore! Gilmore! Ah! Ah! 
I think you piss these boys off. For this whore over here? Come and get her! You think you can take her from me? That low life is hurting her. We need to call the sheriff. What do you think, brother? We let that asshole have his way with her? I think no fucking way. Brother, I think you're kind of sweet on that gal. Come on. What are you two getting yourselves into? And what does your god say about helping the helpless, hmm? Now get your ass back in the saloon and stay there. Just like me. Slow in the head? <laughs> no, no, brother. He's prideful. He's not gonna back down now. Not in front of his own Get men. Over there. Get him! This carrot top some bitch is starting to piss me off. Maybe it's time we piss on him a little, hmm? Hey. William, what the hell you doing? Have you lost your mind? What did I just tell you? I'm going with you. You wanna die? It ain't safe here, brother. Find yourself some cover. Don't kill it if you ain't gonna eat it. Can you help a brother out? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ain't my fault you're so damn slow. He's still here. What the hell, boy? You gonna get us killed watching out for you? You're the ones that need looking after. Distract that son bitch, and I'll flank him and take him out from the side. Distract that son of a bitch, hey. and I'll flank him and take him out from the side. Shoot! Die! Brother, come on! There's no time. It's only a woman, Ray. Ah. You know what you need. What I got is the most annoying big brother on God's green earth, I tell you what. What are you waiting for? Move! We're running out of time. Wait with her. We'll meet by the church. I told you he won't run. I don't know where you two peckerheads are from, but is it really worth getting your asses shot off for some greaser's whore? You sorry assholes messed with the wrong son of a bitch. I'm wanted from Colorado to Texas, boys. I'm the one who killed that Texas Ranger in El Paso. And the Jericho Kid in Abilene. They call me the Rattler, because that's how fast I am. The Rattler? Well, some bitch. So no one would blame you if you turned tail and ran. You killed the Jericho Kid? So you have heard of me? Nope. I'll kill you before you clear leather. You hear me?
They took her to the church. I know the way. Quick, let's get over there before they find out. I never thought I'd live to see the day a woman gets you inside a church. Two's hardly a challenge. Want some guns? Coast is clear, brother. You can climb out of your hiding hole. Sure you did. learn, little brother. You know what I've learned? That you are one irritating asshole. Thanks, brother. There they are. What are they doing? 
I don't know, but if they leave, we won't find them. I, mean, I ain't got a clear shot. God damn it. If you want to piss Rattler off, you go right ahead. Gilmore, go look around. She's running to the church. Good girl. Let's take him out. Let him hurt you. I need help, brother. You made some dangerous enemies today, amigo. I am Juan Mendoza. Friends call me Juarez. Ray McCall. And these are my brothers, Thomas and William. Thanks for the help. No, thank you, amigo, for rescuing my beautiful Marisa. I'd like to invite you all to my Alcazar this evening for a little celebration. Sure. Why not? Excelente. It is not far from here. Just ask anyone. Everyone knows Juarez. Thanks, Ray. But next time, maybe you should ask us before agreeing to break bread with a bandit like that. They don't seem like such a bad sort. You trust them? I didn't say that. I don't know who you two are anymore. Juan Mendoza was the leader of the largest outlaw gang in Juarez. Everyone was afraid of him, even his beautiful Marissa. What worried me more was the way Ray looked at her, and Ray wasn't one to back down. Trouble was brewing, and I didn't know how to put a stop to it. Friends, I invited you here today because I have something that needs done, and I believe you are the men to do it. The gringos you gunned down work for a pendejo by the name of Devlin. This greedy bastard is blowing up every mountain south of the border, searching for a treasure that by all rights belongs to the people of Mexico. By people, you mean you. Why, of course. 
You want Devlin dead? Dead, missing, disappeared. I just want him gone. But to get to Devlin, you must first defeat his many hired guns. And you'll pay us for this, hmm? I will give you a share of the treasure. How you even know there is a treasure? It was the ransom for Montezuma, held hostage by Hernando Cortez. Aztec gold, emeralds, diamonds as big as your fist, riches beyond compare. That's just a fairy tale. No, mijo. It is real. Very real. And it can be ours. Where is this, Devlin? Ray, you can't be serious. You would be doing the people here a very great service. Devlin and his men have killed many innocents, women, children. My brothers do not need more blood on their hands. We all have blood on our hands, boy. You two will get dirty one day. Besides, who said anything about killing? It would be enough if Devlin and his men just go back to where they came from. Do we have a deal? I used every argument I could to dissuade them from this madness. But my brothers pointed out that Devlin was in fact an evil bastard who wouldn't be missed by anyone. Juarez told us he was Irish born and made his fortune in Chicago. He's a thief and a cutthroat who takes what he wants, murdering settlers and prospectors for their lands and claims. But as evil as he is, it is not my brother's place to punish him. That is the Lord's work. Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Want to do it quietly? <laughs> right. Come on, let's shut this mess down. Kill him! Catching some of theirs. Good job. Ah! 
Well, that was some greeting. Come on, they'll be pissing their pants in a second. Impressions are always the most important. Two's hardly a challenge. Okay, let's kick some ass. Got the whole town, and it's still not enough for him. All right, I kill you. I want to see the blood sucker. It's not too much to ask, is it? Devlin! That's them? All two of them? That's what you called me away for? These two tugs? Sounds like a real asshole. You, Devlin? Well, listen up. We're taking over your business. Now you take your boys and your toys, and you get the hell out of town. Any questions? When I heard you gunned down Rattler, I considered offering you to a job. But now that we've met, I can see that wouldn't work. You two clearly have an attitude problem. Throw them off the stairs, boys. signal.
He escaped through the courtyard. They closed the gate. I'll jump over to that landing and open it from the other side. Cover me. Okay, but don't take all day. Thomas? You okay? Yeah, but this thing won't budge. The son bitch bought some time. Oh, stop your whining. Go above and I'll go below, through the mine. Now you find the bastard and I'll find you. I miss you already.
Now that's what I call a grand entrance. I think you blowed up half of San Lorenzo. You sons of bitches wanted to bury me alive. You seen Devlin? Just the dust he was running so fast. Straight and down. <laughs> Cause I was on his trail. Let's get him. Take him out, I'm covering you. Gotta shoot each some bitch five times. Bullets cost money, brother. I'd rather waste more of mine if I can avoid catching some of theirs. We got to work together. Get your ass back here. You seen all this construction around here? Who the hell built this? I'm not sure it was Devlin. He's more the destructive type. Like us. No, brother. We are going to rebuild our house. Die, you bastard!
Protect me! What the hell am I paying you for? You bloody coward! Kill them! Easy, Mr. Devlin. I know my job. You're the McCall brothers. I saw the wanted posters for you boys in Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. The infamous McCall brothers. I heard you were deserters. I'm not famous like you boys. I just kill for money. And you two both have a pretty good price on your head. Wasn't there a third brother? Or is that McCall more of a sister? Do you want money? What? Whatever you want. I want you to shut your mouth is what I want. Who are you working for? Juarez? How much is he paying you? I'll pay you more. Ten times more. Just bring me his head and his little whore. Her I want alive. Oh, you won't be needing any one of the female persuasion. Not after I turn you into a Kelvin. No! Don't do it, Ray! What the hell? What are you doing here? Do not violate the word of God, the fifth commandment. Thou shalt not kill. Well, it's a little late for that, little brother. Look around. Ray, please, for the love of God. Oh, where was your loving God at Shiloh, huh? At Gettysburg, at Antietam? Ray, if you kill him, you'll be just like him. And you will burn for all eternity. Look, I've had just about enough of your fire and brimstone, boy. If what you say is true, it's too late for me anyway. It's not too late. It's not. When our Savior was nailed to the cross, there were two other men crucified alongside of him. Murderers. And he took one of them to heaven because that man repented. He begged for forgiveness. He was forgiven. The Lord forgave him? Yes. A cold-blooded murderer? Yes. Well, hell, that's good to know. <laughs> 